What's going on LEGO fans, Bacon Bricks here, and today guys we're going to be covering 5 LEGO banner designs that you can build in your own mocks. Now guys, today we're going to be covering 5 different diverse LEGO banner designs for your own mocks. Uh, I've tried to incorporate a range of different ideas and styles into here, whether it be uh, just a basic pattern like these two, uh, a face like these two, or a setting like this. Uh, and guys, just quickly before we start, uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. A um, new channel just starting out, and if you like this video, you'll probably like my others. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So, it's a win-win for everyone. You may as well subscribe, and uh, it's free as well. So, you know, no charge to you. But without further ado, guys, let's get into this, and let's start off by showing you some different possibilities with these banners. So, if I move these out of the way, uh, I'll just focus on one main banner here. And uh, so, we've got a banner, which I'll show you in detail in a minute. But this is kind of a banner stand where you can stick your banners onto. Because, I mean, you know, what's a banner without something to put it on? I mean, yeah, so this uh, holds it up, basically. You can put it onto any kind of studded surface. And it stands up really well it's not going to fall over or anything uh you know clutch power and um yeah guys so this is just a one by one cone piece and then a bar just a regular sized bar in brown uh, then these t-shaped handle pieces here um with anti-studs or slots for bars on three sides and then just a little one by one stud on the end here uh to finish it off just to make it a little easier to put the actual banner on. So that's the build here guys for this banner stand. Uh, I also came up with a couple of other ideas um, for the banner such as doing this which you know depending on the banner design you could kind of make it into a cape and uh, using the neck bracket piece I've got my bacon bricks sig fig here and um, I'm gonna put this cape on. It's a little long but it does look really cool and you can put your own design onto your figure here. Uh, if you wanted you can make it only three studs long so that it fits onto your figure a little better. Um, but yeah I actually kind of like this. You can put your own personalized design onto it then. And yeah guys so that's gonna um, be it for just this first segment. We're gonna move on now to showing each individual banner design that I showed you at the start of the video uh, in full detail. So without further ado let's move on. So guys, we're going to start off nice and simple with this first banner design here. Uh, so I'm going to just quickly break this up and talk to you about the design as I go. So this uses about nine pieces, so you'll need uh, four one by one yellow tiles, and you'll need four one by one dark green tiles, and one two by four, uh, well I used a beige uh, two by four tile. But it, I mean plate sorry, but it honestly doesn't matter because the main thing here is the pattern So once you've got all those pieces that I mentioned before you're going to want to grab your 2x4 uh, Plate of your choice. You're going to want to start off with a green uh, a dark green in the bottom right corner here uh, And then you're going to want to have it in like a checker pattern So you're going to have one diagonally along from there. So two studs up on the left side this time uh, and then alternating on diagonally there and then alternating once again and then you're going to fill in all the blanks with these yellow one by one tiles uh, some of them may be a little out of place so just flatten it down a little or straighten it up if you have to but yeah guys that is how to create the first banner design here again it this is probably one of my favorites uh, it's minimalist and it looks quite medieval which you know most banners are and yeah, guys, we'll move on into the next banner design. Okay, guys, so this is the next banner design that I have. This one has a bunch of bright colors, and uh, it's really fun and colorful. A bunch of reds and pinks and a few blues as well. So I'm going to, again, take this apart as I talk to you about it. So you'll need four of the one by one uh, salmon pink, uh, like tiles in this shape, where there's kind of been a slice taken out of it. 
um, you're going to want a 2x2 two two light blue tile or kind of a, a medium azure colour and you'll want a 2x4 red plate. Uh, you're going to start off with the 2x2 two two blue tile in the middle here uh, and just have it like that, nice and simple. Then you're going to have one of these 1x1 one one tiles here uh, like that in that orientation so that this curve is facing down like that. Then you're going to want to have another one facing kind of opposite like that so that there's like kind of this, I guess, a mountain peak kind of area in the middle there. Uh, now on the bottom area here, you're going to basically want to do the same thing. Uh, you're going to basically want to mirror this so that there is, so this one and then this is mirroring it and there's like an upside down mountain, I guess, uh, going down here. But this one's nice and simple, lots of bright colours and uh, we'll move on to the next design. Okay guys, so this is the third banner design here, 3 out of 5, uh, and this is a nice simple design, it kind of looks like a guy with a face but with a long nose, uh, and yeah, as I take this apart I will talk to you about what you need, so you'll need one 1x2 one kind of medium tan brown uh, tile, you'll need two of the 1x2 eye tiles, uh, that are round, sorry, you'll need a two 1x2 one by, uh, one by yellow tiles, a 1x2 tile with jumper, also yellow, uh, a 1x2 plate, and a 2x4 plate. And the last few parts mentioned are in yellow. So guys, you're going to want to get your uh, plate here, and then you're going to want to put a tile at the bottom here, the flat one, the 1x2, one and then you're going to want another 1x2, one one stud above that, so not actually one stud, but two stud with a one gap in the middle. Then you're going to put the jumper plate in between. Uh, and then you can have the last remaining plate here, just on top like that. Um, from there you'll want to put your eyes in, so the one by one round uh, yeah, eye printed pieces. And then with this, this is the luxury of jumper plates. This one goes in the middle and then you can kind of slide it up to the angle that you want. I want it about here because this looks kind of funny. Uh, so yeah guys, that is the third banner design. Uh, again, this one kind of looks like a face. Uh, not exactly like a regular Lego man's face, but I don't know, come, some kind of a weird version of it. Uh, but yeah guys, moving on to the fourth banner design. So guys, this design here is so very simple. Uh, you're barely going to need any parts for this, so if you're on a parts budget, you're definitely going to be okay with this one. Uh, you'll need a 2x4 black plate, which is very easy to find. It comes in quite a few sets, so again, you know, if you have very little bricks, bricks sorry, this is going to be quite easy for you. Uh, and then you'll want these 1x1 one one round uh, white eye-printed things, uh, eye-printed tiles. And they're basically like the other ones that I showed you in the last banner, banner number 3, and um, but they're more angry looking. So you're going to want to put these eyepieces on the second stud down from the uh, top of the plate here. And then you're going to want to put it kind of at an angled position so that these, uh, I guess these eyebrows here are kind of angled down in a furrowed position. Uh, and then you're going to want to mirror that for the other side here. And that is literally it for this fourth banner design. It is really nice and simple for you guys. And uh, yeah, on to the last banner. Okay guys, so this is the very last banner. It's probably my favourite, because uh, it shows kind of what's happening uh, without telling too much. So, in case you didn't notice, in case I've done my job badly, and, you know, haven't made it obvious enough. Uh, so this is basically a sun setting behind a mountain. Uh, you can kind of get that out, I guess. And this one does use a couple of rare pieces, so the colour for this uh, plate here is a little rare. And this Nexo Knight's kind of shield piece that I've put upside down in like grey is kind of rare. There's only a couple of sets that I know it coming from. Uh, and But yeah, if you have it in your collection, obviously you can build this. Um, so yeah, as I take it apart, I'll go over it. Uh, so this, the Nexo Knight shield piece that I just mentioned is a 2x3 uh, but with like a 2x3 tile with kind of... Uh, triangular bits taken out of it, I guess, to make this pointy end here. Uh, this is a 2x4 
kind of medium blue uh, plate and yep just a standard plate in kind of a weird color but it looks like the color of this guy so try to get that one if you can obviously if you can't just use a regular blue 2x4 or a light blue 2x4 or whatever blue you kind of have um, and then this here is a 1x1 one one round uh, plate in yellow and you're going to want to start off by putting the biggest thing and the biggest thing together so uh, the next night shield piece just goes onto the bottom here it'll take up most of the space here for the sky and then here in the corner you're going to want to put the one by one yellow round which kind of looks like a sun and here we have the sun and the mountain guys that was the last banner design and uh, I'll move on to the outro okay guys so uh, these are all the banner designs put back together now uh, so guys uh, tell me in the comment section which one of these banner designs you like the most uh, try to come up with some of your own banner designs maybe and uh, of course these aren't the only banners that you could build Lego is great like that you know you can build whatever you want out of it um, so yeah you could use these kind of as a template I guess and if you follow the kind of banner stand tutorial you could put it up on the banner or you could stand it up on its own here like I have for these but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already if you liked the video um, again I'll be posting regularly weekly and uh, you'll be notified when every video comes out if you're subscribed. So guys, thank you for watching and goodbye.